Hi friends, uh, welcome back uh, to Coffee with Ravi. Today I had uh, thought I'd return back to the COVID topic since it's topical. While I was trying to alternate it with GI topics, uh, uh, COVID is in the uh, mainstream and I thought we'd talk about three things. The first thing I wanted to talk about was show you a slide about the timeline of COVID. Second thing was about treatment and third thing about vaccines. As it relates to the timeline of uh, uh, COVID, what you see on the slide is a summary of all of our experience uh, from a New England Journal uh, article. If you see on the slide, the first three or four days, people are not symptomatic. Once symptoms develop, which can be fever, body aches, uh, sore throat, uh, about seven days after is when people start feeling short of breath. It takes that long for the infection to start sinking into the lung and affecting it. But not everybody gets it. About 40% of people who develop symptoms get the shortness of breath. The second point that I wanted to make on this timeline is that a great majority of people who get the infection recover. It's about 80%. That's a good figure to remember. The second point is that about 5% develop more severe or critical illness and about 15% develop illness enough to put people into hospital, which is mostly because of difficulty breathing. So the, the top line message again on this timeline, which is sort of the summary of our New York experience and all the world experience from China and Italy, et cetera, is that a great majority of people recover, shortness of breath develops about seven days after one develops infection, and you can start having the infection for a few days before you develop symptoms and that's where this whole issue of asymptomatic or pre-symptomatic carriage comes up. As it relates to treatment, uh, what I want you to look at on this slide that I'm putting up is that there are several treatments that have been looked at. One is chloroquine, hydrochloroquine, remdesivir, other antiviral drugs and what's called convalescent plasma. In other words, taking the blood, separating some of the blood uh, to the plasma from people who have recovered from the infection and then giving it to patients who are sick. The two top level points on this is that the most promising among this seems to be remdesivir. It seems to shorten the time spent in the hospital. So in other words, people who get this treatment seem to be getting out faster, but more study is needed. The second aspect is the convalescent plasma. Convalescent plasma is where the blood is separated uh, and the plasma is given to a patient from somebody who has recovered. There are studies that are out there and there seems to be some promise in that. So these are the two that I want you to take home uh, from this treatment section. The third aspect is vaccination. The basic uh, concept of vaccination is that you fake the body to produce antibodies and antibodies are like bullets that our own body produces that attached to these viruses and wipe them out. That's the basic concept. What I wanted you to get from the slide is that the vaccination process or development of a vaccine process is a multi-step process. The most promising target seems to be the spike and all of us have become familiar with the structure of the virus which is like a ball with these hammer-like uh, uh, projections. What most people are focusing is how to get the body to recognize these spikes and develop these bullets against them. The bullets are what we call antibodies. The most promising among them is the recent trial that came out with Moderna, uh, the Moderna vaccine, uh, and that is against this spike or S unit. There are other candidate vaccines that are being looked at where it's the actual virus itself which is sort of killed or in some way that's live, uh, but those are further down. The the process itself seems to take at least six months to up to 18 months, both because there's a process called good manufacturing process and good laboratory process. There are two words that come up in the vaccine literature, GMP and GLP, that need to be adhered. Then they need to go through phase one, phase two, phase three, different levels of trials where more and more people are vaccinated and we study people to make sure they don't develop side effects and that they're developing good antibodies to the virus. And that's when it's rolled out. But 
there's some preliminary study that uh, that we have heard about in the news uh, from Moderna, which is uh, a mRNA vaccine. In other words, uh, the vaccine goes into the body, makes the immune system think that there are these S unit or these hammer-like spikes in the body and produce antibodies. So with any kind of luck on our side as humanity, we'll get to a good vaccine within the next six months to a year. For more information on any of these topics, I have posted the links on the slide. Feel free to look up. Some of them is a little dense literature, but I think for those of you who want to study it a little bit more, uh, feel free to call us, ask us questions, or look up this on the literature. I hope to see you next week.